Hello and welcome to the Holgate website. My name is Wayne Barsby, head teacher at the Holgate School. And welcome to this, my first vodcast, as I'm told it is called. What I'd like to do today is to talk to you a little bit about our recent Ofsted inspection and about some of the things that we're working at at the school uh, that you should hear about and see when you visit us in school. The Ofsted inspection, it was four weeks into my uh, appointment here at the school and we were pleased to welcome a team of five inspectors into the school. They had a good look around the school and the report will be published next week so I can't reveal too many of the findings yet because this is still a draft report. However, they commented positively on a lot of things about our school, uh, about students, about teachers and their teaching and as I say more of that next week. I want to thank the students last week because they seem to me to take a great deal of pride in having visitors in school and showing how well the school is doing and to thank parents and carers as well for their responses to the parental surveys and also for lots of messages of good will. Uh, as I say, that report will be out next week and we'll talk to you then about what we're going to do as a response to that to further improve the provision here at Holgate to make sure your children get the best possible deal. Talk a little bit now as well about my first month uh, as head teacher at the school. I've said in my previous um, head teacher's blogs on the website and in messages to you via the parent newsletter how pleased I am with the very vast majority of students and how they come every day ready to learn, looking smart and wanting to progress in their lessons. I'm keen that we get that up to 100% and I want to count on your support in achieving that. With youngsters I've talked a lot about respect for all and achievement for all and for your information I just want to run through what in school we mean by respect for all and achievement for all and perhaps ways in which you can help us. Respect for all is a key thing for me because that's about young people both in the school community and in the wider community at large and it starts with respect for self and respect for self for me is about how youngsters present themselves. We have a uniform policy that everybody signed up to, parents, carers, students, and we need to see that in evidence every day, in plain black footwear, plain black trousers or skirt, uh, the white school shirt, a school sweater and a tie. That's the kind of uniform we're looking for, an avoidance of the wearing of hoodies so that youngsters are not looking like they're going to a youth club in the evening but are coming to a place of work during the daytime. And respect for self is about being equipped to learn. We want youngsters to have the correct learning equipment, be that PE kit if it's a PE day, but basic reading and writing equipment, pen, pencil, ruler, learning diary, calculator, etc. That's what we mean by respect for self and that gives students a good start in the day. And by them being on time to school and to all of their lessons, that is respect for self in a nutshell, I think. Respect for all is also about respect for others. Um, for me, that's about politeness as these people are around the site. Our students showing respect for other people by holding doors, saying good morning, being considerate in their actions around the site. We've had a push on uh, avoiding litter being left around the site. For me, that's very important because it's not allowing somebody else to pick up your mess. It's taking responsibility for yourself. And respect for others is also very much about that word, responsibility, doing the right things. Our students know all the differences between right and wrong. They know what's a good learning environment. They know how they can contribute to that. We've talked to them in assemblies, and with your support, we can make respect for all a, real, a reality in our school. Achievement for all is very important to us because in the end, as parents and carers, you expect that your child will emerge out of school aged 16, 17, 18 or 19 with a range of qualifications. And the big push there is on making progress every lesson youngsters go to. We want them to engage with their learning and to work hard at their own learning. Not to give up, but to persevere, to ask questions if they need help and to take all the advantages of the learning opportunities that we give them. And achievement for all, therefore, is about youngsters working hard for themselves, working hard when they work together in groups or in pairs, but not stopping others learning by becoming distracted and causing distractions. And we've made that point to students, and again, I'm delighted to say the vast majority of students do that every lesson, all the time. If we do that with youngsters, give them good learning opportunities, and they engage in that to make progress every lesson, and week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out, that has an impact in the end that will prepare them for their future. So beyond just the teaching lessons, we do lots of preparation for employment days, we do lots of support for youngsters in terms of careers education, personal and social education, and all that in the end I think will benefit them as young people growing into young adults, 
and young people playing their role in wider society. So that's achievement for all. So as I say, respect for all and achievement for all are close to our hearts and they're things that the youngsters know about, we want you to know about, so that you can see the part you can play in helping your child to achieve their potential. If we do that together, I think in the end we'll see pride in the outcomes for all of our students, what they achieve, how they behave. Then the youngsters can take great pride in themselves and then we can get what I think we saw last week from the school community and that's pride in Holgate School itself. More from me in further vodcasts. Thank you very much for tuning into this one. Have a great weekend.